Hello everyone, my name is Rixus and thank you for joining me today. So, now that the Free Week players have mostly gone and left, the population of Depth is still at its second highest peak. Number of players just under 10,000 according to Steam charts. And yet many players in the forums are still concerned that Depth is a dead game because of its quickly plummeting player count. Of course, there have been plenty of opinions thrown around since the free week started about how terrible the game is balanced, how toxic the community is, and how money-hungry the devs are, for examples. Now, I have answers for the first two, which I'll link in the video description below, and the last point is one that can be shot down by simply noticing that all the major updates have been free updates, and that the microtransaction excuse is quickly counteracted by the fact that all the skins in the loot boxes are tradable after the event is over. But the population of the game is actually a point worth discussing. And is the population important to depth survival into the future? Why are we so fixated on population as a measure of how a game is doing? And is depth a niche game? Or is that title simply something fans of the game use to deflect the slow death of their favorite game? First, let's look at a history of depth's timeline. The graph I'm throwing up on the screen shows almost every major event to depth, including its release, and its average player count according to Steam charts at the time of those updates. Beginning from November 2014 to September 2017, now, we can see a few patterns. The population of depth stays pretty stable, even if it is a bit low, usually hovering between 200 and 300 average players monthly with a few upticks here and there. There have been four major spikes in the player population so far, those being the Hide and Seek update in July 2015, which is when I began playing, the current update, Ghouls and Goblins, Zapped in August of 2016, and Dragon Dance in January of 2017. Typically, the game sees pretty big increases in players during a major sale, like 66% off or 75% off. Ghouls and Goblins, Dragon Dance, Void, Zapped, Hide and Seek, and Shark Fight all had major sales in conjunction with events, and we can see the effect of this on the chart. So events bring sales, and sales bring people. But why don't they stay? Now that's kind of the million dollar question over digital perfectionists right now. My personal opinion is that the game itself isn't friendly to most players. It's a twitchy, reaction-based game that is layered with a constant feeling of tension and adrenaline. This isn't exactly the best environment for people to learn an asymmetric multiplayer PvP game that's actually two completely different games that you need to understand in order to do well in either of them. <sighs> but this question is one of the reasons why Digital Confectioners is currently investing its time into honing its new player experience. The game at its core is pretty intimidating, but by taking the transition as smooth as possible, we might be able to salvage a few more players than we used to. Now, taking a look at the game for the majority of the game's time in the wild, would we consider the game to be dead or simply a niche game? Considering the game is pretty stable, even outside of its highest peaks, along with the fact that the majority of the game's constant player base is composed of a fairly tight-knit group, the game has a very positive rating on Steam, which is pretty good considering 13,000 people have reviewed it. At the time of this recording, there isn't a single bad review of the game on the store page on front. Taking all of this into account, it's pretty safe to say that the game isn't dying. Depth, in its current state, can be considered a fun, worthwhile game for most players, while simultaneously being something that most Steam players aren't looking to sink a lot of time into. There are enough new players coming and going to make sure that matches are fairly quick and easy to get into, and the community is alive enough to foster friendships and familiarity. These are not qualities of a dead game, I think, so the phrase niche game is a little more applicable, even if I don't like it all that much, honestly. To know what a dead game looks like, go look at Shark Attack Deathmatch 2. But, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think of the game's population. Do you think the current trend of increasing players will hold? Do you think the game is destined to fizzle out and die in its near future? Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. 
Until next time, my name is Rorixus, and I'll see you in the water.